What's up guys, Lagan here, and I want to show you guys how you can use the souvenir coins and souvenir stands to get some really cool items in the game. If you want to help support today's video, drop a like on it, and if you're new around here and find this video informative, hit the subscribe button. Now let's jump into it. Okay guys, so it's pretty simple. You kill some zombies and occasionally they'll drop you a coin. You can pick up the coin, you can take it over to a souvenir station, and you can put the coin in. After you put three coins in, you're going to get a special piece of equipment. It's that easy. However, you cannot interact with these stations unless the power is turned on. If you don't know how to turn on the power, I made a video earlier today. It's down below in the description. You can click on that. It shows you all the power locations on the map. So if you want something specific from the machine, uh, next to the machine you'll see a poster that tells you everything you can get and on the wall in graffiti is kind of like a cheat code. It says alien plus alien plus question mark equals a uh, boom box and the boom box is like the monkey bomb. So um, the coins they drop are color coded and they have a little icon on them. Some of the coins have aliens on them, some of them have astronaut helmets on them and some of them have yetis on them. So you can look at the wall and let's say you need uh, two aliens and and uh, one you know yeti equals a boom box. Well, that's I think that's two greens and a blue, right? And then you just put those in the machine and you'll get your boom box. Well, I've figured out quite a few of these for you guys. So if you want to take some notes really quick, uh, you can get some specific things. So there's two reds, one green equals the boom box. If you want to try the firework bomb, which you saw in this video already, that's two reds, one blue, and you'll get the firework bomb. One of each color will get you kernel pops, which are pretty cool as you're seeing in the video right now. Uh, three reds will get you a Medusa device. And three greens get you this really cool pad that the zombies will walk across. The first zombie that walks across it now fights for you and will attack the other zombies. I'm not sure if it works on the boss yet. I haven't been able to try it without uh, another zombie stepping on it first. So it's really cool. You get some really neat, really neat uh, devices that you could use to help yourself uh, survive zombies in Spaceland. Uh, now let's just say that you have, uh, you're trying to work on something sp uh, specific, but you just picked up the wrong color and it kind of ruins what you're working on. Don't worry about it. If you have a red in your inventory and you need a blue, all you have to do is walk over to the blue that you see that a zombie dropped and you can trade your red for that blue. You can only carry one coin at a time, but you can pick up a different one and it'll put the other one on the ground. You go put that in the machine, you're good. There are also several machines around the map. So in one machine, you might be working on a boom box. The other machine, you might be working on a fireworks bomb. And in another machine, you might be working on a century gun. That's right, you can actually get a century gun. So very cool, these souvenir um, stations and souvenir coins. I just wanted to make this a little bit easier for you guys so you can understand what you're doing. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do drop a like. And as always, it's been your boy Lagin24. And I will see you uh, next time.